So a discovery fellowship provides someone uh, an independent source of funding and they're on their pathway to scientific independence and it gives them three years to really concentrate and focus on um, where they want to take their subject area. It's a, it's a first fellowship that you might get after a PhD, but it really sets you up then to be in the position in the future to start running your own group um, and have your own independent um, and world leading research theme wherever you want to be based. Applicants tend to have demonstrated really high potential to become a future research leader and those individuals will have a strong evidence of working kind of towards independent research and their independence within the team. Discovery fellowships are available to up to a value of £400,000, so it's 80% of what we call the full economic costing, um, with the total kind of economic costing of a fellowship being up to £500,000. So this investment kind of can be used to support a personal salary as well as travel and subsistence, training activities and kind of research consumables as well, but not to go towards kind of equipment within the fellowship. Um, in addition kind of to this investment, it's also expected that a substantial kind of demonstration of support for the fellow to be made by their own kind of host research organisation. Um, and for that's for all applicants and BBSRC are really looking for evidence that the host organisation is going to contribute significantly either through financial or um, in-kind support if kind of a Discovery Fellowship award is made to that individual. It's actually quite broad now. We recognise that lots of people come from different backgrounds in terms of their science areas. In terms of the science remit, that's broad across the whole of BBSRC. There's absolutely no limit to the number of years or the amount of postdoctoral experience an applicant must have to be eligible for the Discovery Fellowships. Um, but it is important to kind of say, actually, with regards to eligibility, um, applicants should not hold or have had held in the past kind of an academic position at a lecturer level. So it's really kind of to reiterate that the eligibility really wants to be focusing on applicants who are demonstrating this upward trajectory to pursuing an independent working within a host organisation. So Discovery Fellowships do cover the kind of total BBSRC remit. Um, and you can find the BBSRC portfolio online, kind of searching for BBSRC portfolio. Um, but in general, our portfolio kind of covers plants, microbes, animals, that includes humans as well, um, as well as tools and te not technology that underpins kind of biological research. Um, but if you're really kind of concerned about the remit of your particular project, then you should definitely kind of consult the portfolio, the responsive mode priorities, but then also contact our remit team as well. So we tend to get quite a lot of queries around, is the current fellowship that I'm on, does that make me eligible for the Discovery Fellowship? How do you find a host institution? Can you remain at your current research organisation? So the BBSRC Fellowship team is a massively comprehensive team of experts regarding our Discovery Fellowships. So the fellowship team also produced the significant amount of literature that is online as well to support the Discovery Fellowship applications. So I'd always suggest first and foremost to kind of refer to this documentation online. So it's been written by the people who have all the wisdom around Discovery Fellowships. However, there's obviously no kind of replacement from having a conversation with someone who is very much in the know and it has the wisdom around what a Discovery Fellowship is, who it's for and kind of the reasons behind applying and, and to assist you in kind of navigating that route for application as well. So if you ever have a query which can't be answered through the information that I outlined, then please do get in touch with the Fellowship team who would be more than happy to answer your queries and talk this through with you. The best way to do that is to search online for BBSRC Discovery Fellowship on the UKRI Funding Finder and all the information you need should be there on that one dedicated page.